hello and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, we progressed through Noki Bay, and in this part, we're going to head to the next level available to us at this time. So to get to this level, you have to have completed the the wilted uh, the wilted sunflower shine in Peanut Park, because after that shine, I believe Yoshi is available to you, and you can only get through here by eating the pineapple. So yeah, so we're gonna jump in this disgusting-looking pipe and head to the next level. Welcome to Serena Beach, favorite level, just saying it, doing episode one, the Manta Storm. Now, you, just by looking at it, you can already tell why this is one of my favorite levels. This, well, this is my favorite level, probably in the entire game. And I'm basing it just on uh, how peaceful it is. I know, it's kind of mean that I should judge it a favorite level on, you know, gameplay and all that stuff, but... I really like this level just to how peaceful it is and this is this isn't even all of it there's more of this level than me the eye so we have this new type of goop that if you step in it yeah it's electrified yeah, let's make sure not to touch that so as we can see this area is just covered in all this goop and huh I think there's something supposed to be here no there's nothing here I'm crazy so what's up Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You could save me. I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started at noon. This giant mantis-shaped thing showed up, and it was this and it was this paper-thin floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goop. Then, oh, the horrible. My beautiful hotel, my poor building. It sank in the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I just can't. I just... I can't just sit back and... Ah! It's back! That gross... <laughs> oh, man. Ghost Samer, uh, ghoul. Do something. Ew. So as you can see, this thing is causing all that goop. Now, when I first played this... This was a difficult boss for me because I didn't do the simple task and... Well, I'll show you in a minute. So when you spray this boss, it will, if I can get it to work... Come on, show me. You don't want to touch it because it will send you flying. Yep, like that. Come on. There we go, it's doing it now. It, spread, it divides into more, you know, into uh, smaller parts. So, instead of just taking all that damage because I already took... I got hit twice by that stupid thing. What you want to do is... Well, you can see where I'm going. You're going to head to the ocean. Because you can't lay its goop in the ocean. And you have unlimited water. So, yeah, I didn't think of that when I first played this. I was just like, oh, it's, it's probably going to be easy. Like, Petey Piranha and uh, Goop Blooper. Nope. I about died on this thing. Actually, what ended up happening is I got stranded on a tree. Because, well, it does something really jerkish when it gets into small enough parts you'll see in a little bit so I'm actually gonna try to lure it over here I'm trying to get this done fast because there's something you can cheaply do and it just makes this boss a heck of a lot easier I mean obviously you're gonna be standing in the water this is literally all you're doing is standing in the water but you don't want to go too deep to where you're swimming and you're gonna want to do this and do a giant sprinkler that's my strategy through this boss, or that could happen. And this boss is really not that hard if you, well, not get hit. <sighs> I didn't get any sleep last night, I'm sorry. I was literally up to like five, and it wasn't me like staying awake, it was, dang it, I'm just taking damage because I'm not paying attention. And it wasn't even to me just staying up late, it was, I went to bed simly, oh wow, simly kind of early for my normal sleep habits of staying up till 1 in the morning, so I went to bed like around, around 11 or 12. So what happened was, when I was heading upstairs to my room, I look over on this wall and there is a, ha I think it's called a house caterpillar, not house caterpillar, a house centipede. Basically, it, if you don't know what those things are, look it up. If it's, if it's, if it's not called a house centipede or caterpillar or something, I can't remember the name of it, then look up the... Look up earwigs. It's an insect, obviously, and just imagine that, but bigger. So yeah, that was on my wall. And what happened was, is I immediately went uh, gamer mode, not gamer mode, but MLG mode, and grabbed a shoe and 
got my Street Fighter position to hit it off the wall, and as I went to uh, hit it, it fell. And it fell right into my dirty laundry pile. So, spent about 30 minutes digging through that, couldn't find it, so I laid awake and rolling in my bed wondering where is this stupid thing, and it kept me up for so long. So actually I want to talk about this, you can see that they're red or pink or whatever, and they're homing on you, so... Yeah, that's kind of the jerk thing, is that they're just, you know, difficult. But not really. As long as you stay in the water, you're fine. Or I could get knocked back and forth. Yeah, that could happen. So yeah, I, it's just one of those things that kept me up all night. Ah! There's not that many left, is there? Oh. That was it. That was simple. Cool beans. I just took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Boss fights in this game are gonna get diff are gonna get just not difficult. Well, they'll get progressively difficult, more challenging, not easier, but they're gonna take a little bit more time just doing to how we have to wait. Hey, what are you guys yelling about? What's this? Is this a prank? Don't try to fool me. Yeah, it's a prank. You're on punk. I don't even know if that show still airs. Oh well. But hey, check it out. Got another Shine Sprite. Isn't that cool? Alright, back here in Serena Beach. We're doing episode 2 the Hotel Lobby Secret. Another secret level. Yay! I'm, I'm so excited. Can you tell? I'm really pumped! Alright. So basically what this level is going to consist of is there, you won't be doing a lot of the missions outside, which you'll be doing uh, you'll be doing a good majority of them inside the hotel. Cool beans, am I right? So anyway, hey um, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See the hotel? It's well, it's full of it's full of ghosts. So well, could you maybe look look just come inside, please? I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be modest. So, check it out. We have booze in this game. Isn't that cool? And we have these pink booze that when you spray them, they turn into platforms. What a sad existence you booze must be. So, I believe... Or that could happen. You can, uh... This, this hotel has many different floors. Since it is a hotel. And it can be kind of a pain to get around. But... Nah, I'll show you some secrets later on that love full. Right, cool. That's that, that's really cool. I appreciate you knocking me back down to level one. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm really tired. I probably shouldn't have forward this, but literally, I was wandering around in my room and running from upstairs to downstairs, grabbing little food, then heading back upstairs, eating it just you know, to and fro. And literally, I was just wow. Okay, I got stuck in the ceiling. I was literally buying time to do nothing. Can I please just make this stupid jump? So I was like, what am I doing? I'm literally not doing anything. If I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna do anything with my time, I might as well do these because I haven't done one of these in a while. Can I please get this? Thank you. So you can see these, co you can see the coins that are not spinning. Those are booze. Kind of, yeah. Just simple. So jump the booze mouth. And we get to go through another one of these. Oh, I'm so sad. This one. I hate this mission. It is a pain. Literally, I had a friend over and I was playing this while he was doing, I don't know, he was, I don't know, people watch me play these games for some reason. Well, you're doing it, so. <laughs> Joke's on you. So, before getting food, I was playing a little bit of this, trying to get a few more stars in. Shine Sprite, sorry. And I died so many times. And whenever I'm, whenever somebody's watching me play a game, like, in an actual person sitting there, opposed to, you know, me recording this, and if I feel like I do bad, I can scrap the recording. But when somebody's there, watching you play, I have more of an incentive to either show off or do better. So when I got here, of course, my brain was like, hey, you should smack talk this level and say how good you are at it. Well, the level just punched me in the nose and said, nope, you're terrible at this game, and what the heck's a jump button? You don't even know how to use that stupid thing. And proceeded to murder me constantly. While my friend, he just sat there and kind of laughed me. So laughed, laughed me. Wow, laughed at me. So I'm taking it really slow. I'm, you know, 
not trying to fall off. This thing, this cog right here, this is the best example of slow protection. This thing has killed me more times than anything else in this part in this game. It's just so mean. So every time you make a, you know, head to the next part of the cog, wheel thing, jump. Don't don't walk over because you will slide off. Whew, for me, I didn't think I was gonna make that. There's a hole up on this one. I I, I actually fell through that. I forgot to jump. I tried jumping, but the game was like, you don't know how to use that. So anyway, let's grab this and get out of here. Did that enemy despawn? It did! Poor fella. He didn't ask for that. He was just minding his own business. Okay, I went ahead and cut it to us in here because, well, these shines are getting are just taking more and more time to do, so and I don't want these parts to be outrageously long, but again, I'm still getting five stars. Five shines. Start calling them the right name, please. Five shines per uh, level that we visit, so... Oh, that was almost a death. I take that back! That was a death! Why did I let go of the flood button? The save your life button? Why did I let go of that stupid thing? <sighs> I'll play it normally. Because, well, including the flood that makes these jumps weird. I don't know. Let's just continue on and jump all over the place. Ugh. So, how was everyone's E3? I don't know if you people win or not. Hey, Big Zit! But uh, I watched it uh, via live stream. Uh, I tried to watch each conference, but uh, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about it. But let me just tell you, the overall overall E3, oh dear, overall E3 event, I'm just going to say it was very meh. Didn't like it, didn't hate it, it was just meh. That's all I'm saying about it because I don't want to get anyone mad. But it is my opinion, so why would you be mad? Now, if I remember correctly, these can get kind of mean where these red coins are. I'm trying to remember where, I think it was in there. Mario, we need you to jump. Cause can I have a ramp on this? No, I cannot. How am I supposed to? Ugh. I'm wasting time, aren't I? That's not what I was looking for. Come on. Oh wait, it's right there. What am I doing? I'm not gonna get this in time, am I? Oh yeah, these are ice cubes. When you spray water on them, they disappear. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. That's five. How many more do we have? So many! I'm not gonna get this in time, am I? Screw it. I'm gonna... Five, six... I can make this jump easily. Oh, there they are. <gasps> oh wow, we're running low, low on time. Oh no, we're not gonna get this, are we? Oh man, we're pushing it down to the wire. Grab it, grab it, grab it! No! There we go. Alright, I got it. That was really dumb. It was like... A time... Ah! Ooh, did it jump? Get me out of here! I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here in this secret level. The secret level does not like me, obviously. Get me out of here! Okay, back here at Serena Beach, we're doing Episode 3, Mysterious Hotel Delfino. Now... This can be a... Eh. It can be a very weird level. You can get lost in this level. You're going to do a lot of exploring throughout the actual hotel. Please come right in. I do sense some reluctance. Come now, don't dawdle. Alright, so what you want to do real quick is run over here and you can see that there is a Yoshi over here and if you talk to this guy, he will... Well, if you can... Alright, I'm just going to stay on this desk. It's very usual. I grabbed today. Who could it belong to? By chance, is this yours? Yes, it's mine. He wants a pineapple, so let's head over here to this fruit stand seller who... Business is booming, as I can see. He doesn't have any pineapples. If you talk to him, he will... I'm trying to really rush this. He will say, yes, sir, we can meet all of your fruit needs. What will it be? Yeah, pineapple. Uh, that's odd. I had some this morning. So he doesn't have any pineapples. Phenomenal. So next we want to do is we come in here and talk to this lady. And she says, Eek, what are you doing in here? This is the, the men's rooms on the other side. So yay, Mario, for being a peeping Tom. So yes. This, there are many different ways to get through this. For example, I think this right here, if you if you look up, you can see there's water leaking from the ceiling, but I'm trying to 
Reverse jump. That's not gonna help it. Can I bounce on this? Nope. Oh, there we go. And I teleport. Isn't that interesting? So yeah, this this is very interesting. Let's talk to her. You get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting, but you want to know what I find even creepier than that. Imagine how you got in here. Well, eh, there's in there's that. So we spray this painting, and... Have fun sleeping tonight, lady. Ugh. One more time with that noise. Alright, last time. So in here, we have these people freaking out. Jump on the ghost. We have this, so if we spray it, it reveals nothing. We have one of these spinning puzzles. Boo, you're in the way. So we can get them all to land on the boo side, which that doesn't look like it's going to be happening anytime soon. Nope. Come on. I don't know, maybe you, maybe these boos have a curse on it. Did I spray that one? You're not going to go. Keep spinning. There you go, we're good. Chill out! And, ta-da, magic. Or, possession. Is this being a ghost magic, or is that just possession of objects? Call the Ghostbusters, I'll let you know. So now we're up here. Don't talk to her. Spray this. Look at that magic entrance. So we're in here. This guy, you can spray that and go through there. But we're not going there. We're going to go down here. And get instantly hit by a boo. Yeah, really appreciate it. So we're going to hit this. And there's pineapple. So we can proceed to leave. And take this to Yoshi. I'm just moving right along because this area takes forever to progress through. Now, the reason why you need Yoshi is on the third floor... There is a way to get into the uh, air ducts, and to get to the shine, don't fall in that water by the way, I don't know if that kills you, but let's not test it. To get to the shine, you have to go around. I'll explain that once we get to the third floor. Here we are. Uh, can we go in here? No, we can't. Alright, this guy in here, he's like, you can't go in the pool without a swimsuit. What? Alright, Bill Cosby. Um, so what we need to do is we need to find a way around it by going into the air ducts. Now, the reason why we need Yoshi is I'm paranoid, I need a blue, I need a red, I mean, I need a coin. Words. So, the reason why we need to go up here and need Yoshi is because these guys are blocking our path, and you eat them, they go away. Actually, this guy, I believe, says something pretty interesting. All these ghosts are causing such trouble, they're everywhere. Why can't someone come along and suck them up with a vacuum? Oh, references. What, why are you looking at me like that? So that's pretty cool. It's a reference to Luigi's Mansion. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Luigi's Mansion was came second. So if I remember correctly, that's not the one we need to. <gasps> There's Boo here. All right, avoid that guy. I believe to get to the shine, it's in that one over there. I I have been wrong before. Be careful, cause I've actually glitched this out to where Yoshi gets stuck in between these guys. There's no other way to kill him, by the way. And every time I hopped on Yoshi, I kept get I kept getting thrown away from him. I hope this is the right one. I was surely mistaken. So if I'm really good, I can actually jump back up in there. Ha! Uh, I'm so good at this game. Uh, let's not let's not taunt the game now. I could have sworn that was the right one. Maybe it's maybe it's that one. Who knows? <laughs> a a walkthrough would know. That's the wrong way, you idiot. Waka 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 Pac-Man. Got Pac-Man fever, everyone. Alright, and there you are. Aha! Here it is. Let's talk to him. Hey, no one in the pool with our proper swim gear. Well, forget you. We missed the shine. Well, that's in this part. We're not good. Let's do the shine. And let's pose with Yoshi. Nice. And away we go. Okay, back here in Serena Beach for episode 4, The Secret of Casino Delfino. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I already know I have some editing to do from this part, but... Why didn't I remember this shine came next? This secret shine isn't that bad. Since this is our fifth shine, we won't be getting the second shine. We'll be getting the first one. But, ah, uh, it's, it's, oh man. I hate this one. Not the level itself, but getting to the level. I'll explain when we get there. So, it's a casino. Who would have thought there's a casino in a hotel? What is this, Vegas? No, it's Al Delfino! Alright, welcome to the casino. So, basically what you're gonna have to do is ignore all these people and start gambling. So, I believe this one is one of those random... I hate this one. There we 
go. So basically what you want to do is get all sevens. And when you get that, you... Eh, we'll wait. Oh, hello, Boo. How are you today? Good, I hope. Whatever. What kind of machine dispenses booze? <sighs> uh, this is what I mean. Actually, this is even the worst part. This is the easy part. Why are you giving me booze? Game, do you want to encourage my wrath? I don't need coins either. Or absolutely nothing. That's that's great. <gasps> nope. Keep it going. Keep it going. No, I don't need coins. I don't need booze. Oh, that, that's that's funny. I really appreciate that. Uh, this is actually, I think, the easier one. Uh, 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 okay, we're good here. So we won that one, and there's another one over here. If we win this one, this one I think is a little bit difficult because you got... Yeah, actually, it's easier. Take the back. Nope. There's seven there. Nope. Oh, darn it. Overshot that one. Come on. Keep it going. Nope. Nope. There we go. Now that we've done that, we have this. I hate this thing. This thing can fall down a pit of fire. Because, well, what you gotta do is you gotta spray them and turn them all into a shine sprite. Now, the problem with this is... Uh, you're about to see. Now, see, I want to hit that block right there. But I missed. And even hitting that block caused that corner to go up. So why did it do that? This it's such a glitchy thing. They start spazzing out after like a good few seconds. Alright, that one's good. Look, I mean what what? No, I Oh my gosh. Physics. You're not working. Alright, just want that one to spin. Not that much. Nope. <laughs> so much build up. Is it gonna land on it? Yay! Alright. Oh, great. Ugh. 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 No, don't you spin. I want that one. No. God, what are you two doing? There we go. And. Stop spinning. Is it gonna land on it? Yay! And we have a pipe in here. Isn't that amazing? And down we go. Took actually a lot, a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Skip, we've seen this a million times, people. Alright, we got this shine, and look at all the seagulls! I feel bad for these things, because they never get to land. Well, actually, I take that back, there's these stupid platforms everywhere. But yeah, where's your food? Uh, I don't know if you can get, cr get crushed in between those, but I don't want to find out. I wait for no man, or cube, or hazard of doom or death. Easy, easy, I don't know where I'm landing. Landing, landing. Alright, these things aren't so bad with slope detection. They are a little bit weird to get used to, but they're... They're better. Alright, we're good. We're good, Mario. We're good. Hey, Lincoln Logs, I missed you ever so. How you been? I don't care, shut up. Nobody asked you. And giant build a block away. Huh. Alright, this didn't take so much time took more time getting into this level. And jump. Ooh, thought I didn't make it there for a minute. Nice! Whew, glad that only took one take. I got some editing to do after this, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah! I have cat hair on my hands. Where'd you even come from? Probably the cat. Hey, look! Shadow Mario's appeared yet again, and he's got another nozzle. <gasps> and look, it's showing us that we could use it to get up there to another red pipe, which, you could guess, leads to another world. Isn't that lovely? So we're gonna chase this guy down and get that rocket nozzle because we already know what it is because we saw it in Rico Harbor. <sighs> Just moving right along. So, come here you. Don't waste my time. That's gross. Did you do that? Really, you did everything. You caused everything. You caused my vacation to go terrible. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not gonna go in the water, are you? You can't go in the water. You know that, right? Uh, there we go. What? So, what the heck, game? So, am I tripping him, or is it just... I think that's what it is. I mean, oh, that was easy enough. 
Shoot, now she's back to rock jump too. I'm just giving you so many voices. And we got the rocket nozzle. Why did I save? <laughs> I have no idea. So yay, we got the rocket nozzle. Alright, in the next part, we will... Eh, I guess we'll go to that level up there unless I have any other plans. So, like a favor, enjoy this part and subscribe if you want to see more. Until the next part, I will see you guys later.